That's right, YouTube. You know what time it is. It's time to talk about pipe. And that's laying some pipe. And lots of pipe. And the kind of different pipes you can lay. We're going to cover it today here at Wendell Lee Well Services. All right, enough of that. Anyways, uh, I'm going to talk to you about what pipes we like to run up under the ground. Uh, got three of our uh, most common used in the industry today or that we see uh, done by homeowners or contractors. Black roll pipe, obviously. Pex pipe. And then what our uh, line of choice is, is um, Schedule 40 PVC. So, uh, first thing I'm going to go over with you is, is just kind of the ratings of each. Um, you know, you can see uh, one inch Schedule 40 is rated for 450 PSI. Uh, that's pretty high there. Don't think you're going to have to worry about ever uh, breaking that. Um, so that's number one as far as that category goes. Um, roll pipe here is rated for 160 PSI, so still fairly strong. Um, Pex pipe, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's 100. Yeah, hold on a second here. Yeah. Yes, it's rated for 100 PSI. Um, so that's pretty common. Um, you know, 100 PSI is not really that great. Uh, you know, I know, I know well extrol tanks and a lot of pressure tanks are rated for 125, 150 PSI. Um, so, uh, you know, I would, I would think that whatever water line you choose to install up under your ground, um, you know, you would you would want a uh, pressure vessel or a pressure tank to be a weaker link before your water line would be. Um, so, you know, that's that's one of the reasons why we like to install um, Schedule 40 uh, PVC is for the pressure rating. Um, number two is because of the uh, pressure drop performance. Um, so if you just take a one-inch pipe and compare it to a one-inch PEX pipe, uh, using 10 gallons a minute, um, you know, the pressure drops... It's going to be about six feet of head uh, versus 13 feet of head for PEX pipe. So that's more than double the pressure drop through it. Um, again, PEX has a smaller um, inside diameter than, than uh, Schedule 40 PVC does. Um, does it come into play a lot? But if you have a long ditch, you know, running seven, eight hundred feet, um, you know, that, that head is going to require more work for your pump to do. Um, so that's something to consider as well. Um, you know, obviously, if you're using um, roll pipe or PEX, you know, you're not going to have any joints up under the ground, whereas uh, Schedule 40 has these uh, type bell-end couplings here, so you are going to have joints there. Um, but in, in our experience, I typically like to, um, you know, see Schedule 40. If I'm going to recommend a recommendation to a customer, it's going to be Schedule 40 PVC first. Uh, black roll pipe up under the ground second, uh, PEX pipe third. Um, to me, roll pipe and Schedule 40 kind of go hand in hand, um, but we do see evidence of, uh, you know, roots and rocks that uh, if you haven't dug your ditch properly, they tend to um, get to roll pipe quicker than it does uh, a PVC pipe. So just a quick video for you out there about laying pipe and what kind of pipe to lay, and what's the best pipe to lay. Um, you know, obviously this is for a residential situation here, um, but just wanted to go over with you, I guess, you know, why we, why we do what we do, and, uh, you know, some of the issues that we've, that we've seen um, in installing each. Um, again, we have installed PEX, we install roll pipe, we install uh, Schedule 40 as well. Um, but our, our favorite tends to be uh, Schedule 40 PVC for underground uh, water line installations. So thanks for watching. Uh, check us out at our store, Wendell Lee Well Services forward slash shop, and stay tuned for more videos coming up in the future. Thank you.